If you're planning a special event, we have somebody you need to meet. Mr. Bartender, Paul Campbell, thanks for being with us today on Brunswick Biz. Absolutely, my pleasure. So yeah. Mr. Bar Mr. Bartender is a very unique business. You're a mixologist. Tell me about what you do and how you started this business. So we created a concept that I consider trendy, fun, but we also uh, very professionally articulate, if the word is, how we get um, cocktails across to a demographic here from people that are retired to the fun crowds who want to do their weddings. We started the idea of doing private parties, very intimate, at home um, bar systems that we set up in their space. And it turned out to be a lot more than that because we grew into a more corporate wedding um, industry right now. It's just growing really well. So you do Thank all you. kinds of events, from weddings to private parties, um, retirement parties, business parties, whatever yeah. folks may need somebody to do, mixed drinks. In a fun, entertaining setting, you're the guy that they need to talk to. Yeah, we have a team of professionals. That's exactly right what you said. We are custom-built company. So that's one of the reasons we have packages on the website for you to kind of give you an idea of how we do it. But we don't put a price up there because the custom um, packages can be anything from a small, intimate wine pairing dinner for 14 to 600 people like we did for the Kukulurus Film Festival this year or last year. And also with Star News, the 150th anniversary booked us to do the Harry Potter theme event mm -hmm. at the convention center. That was a blast, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So you have some big clients like the Star News and Kook Loris, but you also do you know, people's private events. So it's good to know that you can handle it all. Uh, Paul, tell me about how you decided to start this business and what got you into bartending in that line of work. I know you told me that you changed your lifestyle uh, yeah. to do yeah. this. So. I guess if you talk to most people in the food and beverage industry and, and bartenders specifically, they um, fall in love with the idea of something different every day. Um, they usually have a degree or a master's or a doctorate and they understand that you know, sitting at a desk can be you know, something you do as a career. But most people that I've talked to in the industry that really enjoy and passionate about bartending makes, make it a career. I got into it after my Air Force career. I was um, offered a really good job on Wall Street and did the nine to five like everyone. You know, we, we worked uh, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week with a consistent routine. And I felt like that's something I could not have enjoyed doing every, you know, I guess for 40 years and retiring. Um, it did pay a lot, it paid the bills. We are home with our family, but I uh, offered the opportunity uh, doing something more fun when I was at a wedding at the North Ritz Club in South Austin, Long Island. And I give the Major G a lot of credit for this. He uh, kind of took me on the ring. I saw that these celebrity style weddings and the tuxedos and the, and the servers and bartenders and their white gloves and these custom ice luges and, and everybody's having a blast. And I really well, got intrigued with how they enjoy that. So I, you know, I pursued the bartending side of it specifically because I thought that that makes the party. That's where the fun is. You know, the DJ is one part. The entertainment is also at the bar. Everyone's you know, entertain with a cocktail or something fun like that. And I decided to get all the certifications you need in, in New York. So that the idea is spawned out of New York, where it's a, a very busy city, a lot of competition. So you really had to bring your A game. So one of the yes. reasons I decided. So you're really bringing this cool big city entertainment um, business to Brunswick County, which is so exciting because we all know that there's so much going on here in Brunswick County. And, and to have you come down and share your expertise with folks is so special. Yeah, um, Paul, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paul, uh, so you live in Leland. Um, yes, yeah, so we are residents of, of Leland for the past 10 years, and we enjoy okay. it. It's a great community. And who do you serve? I mean, you, of course you serve the northern end of the county, but do you, will you travel all throughout Brunswick County? So I give credit to Brunswick County, specifically the North Chamber of Commerce is, and, and, uh, and, and Oak Island, and South Board Chambers is, and all the South Chamber of Commerce is. They will actually support me in um, some business that we had um, started up in the past, some partnerships. Um, Brunswick Forest specifically, Baldwin Island. We have done sunset cruises on the water. Oh, wow. To, yeah, down the Cape Fair River. And it's a lot of fun with live band musicians, two levels. Here in, in Brunswick Forest specifically, we have a big following on the golf courses. They have humongous homes that can entertain you know, 50 to 75 people. So we mm -hmm. kind of customize the bars in their homes and do different uh, martini stations and wine and beer stations. Um, so my expand uh, 
I guess, radius has been expanded a bit. We called the company Mr. Bartender, and that's spelled out M-I-S-T-E-R. Most people just put the abbreviations. Mm -hmm. And uh, portcity.com for a reason, because we consider ourselves, as the mission statement say, uh, Wilmington's premier private mixology service. So we kind of cover the New Hanover County, the southeastern North Carolina, and um, mm -hmm. you know that includes everything from Myrtle Beach all the way up to. All right, so you'll yeah. go down Calabash, Shiloh, yeah. Ocean Isle Beach, Sunset Beach, yeah. all that area yeah. as well. We have done that, yeah. All right, so, uh, Paul, I want to talk about your mobile bar you have behind yes. me. This is a what you use to do your craft. So tell me about what you have here and what you're going to be making uh, in front of us. Absolutely. Today. So this is just one little simple setup we can do within a half an hour and come in and have one bartender be there in your home, a little space. This is actually a footprint of a six foot table. Okay. Um, the reason I wanted to show this specifically is people to know that we have done parties on the back of yachts. We've used the Spencer 87, which is a 80 foot, 87 foot yacht that on the back of the space is only about 12 feet and even okay. on the water in Riceville Beach. We can literally walk off uh, onto the back and set up this bar and have it really beautiful. We've done it wow. in last summers. This is a simple setup. Like I said, we do three specialty martinis or cocktails. One of the things I, I've been focusing on and when we created the concept is to do organic, local, and fresh. And I say local specifically because Got to BNC has been part, a part of our, mm -hmm. our business. Um, I'm a veteran owner as well, so I want to let people know that. and we. Uh, we got a lot of support from the Veteran Business Outreach Centers at Fayetteville State University and big sponsors that have been looking at our brand right here out of the North Carolina local area. We have North Carolina's Covington Sweet Potato Gourmet Vodka. I like to let people know that it's a premium vodka is right up there with the Grey Goose and Belvedere's that are famous around the world. But this is what makes it special is 100% sweet potato. Um, there's no other vodka that actually been made with sweet potatoes or the first one to do it. And it's velvety smooth. The sweet potato doesn't uh, make you, well, it deceives you because you think you're going to have something sweet. But it's really versatile. That's what makes vodka a good base ingredient. One of the fun cocktails we do is a, a raspberry lemonade. And most people think that they know the flavors of that, so we try to stay true to it. But the Covington vodka do to that flavor is actually make it taste um, like an adult lemonade. You taste the lemonade first. But after a few of those, you'll probably enjoy yourself a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Paul, yeah. Um, one of the things that I know you specialize in is uh, really this helping people discover new things to drink. Because I know some people have, you know, when it comes to mixed drinks, they may be getting the same thing every time they go out. Yeah. You can yeah. kind of help them explore a little. And this is true about most uh, trendy mixologists and bartenders in the industry now. I, for one, use specifically um, classic cocktails as an inspiration and, um, you know, from the margaritas to the mojitos. And there are a lot of flavored distilleries that are doing flavored vodkas and gin out there now. So people can make their own drinks at home with a, a, a pomegranate flavored vodka now from different vodka companies. But what keeps it uh, different and more refreshing is when you actually use the fresh ingredients to make your own simple syrups at home, which is a good example of what I've been doing here. We've got a fresh squeezed lime juice, you got raspberry simple syrups, and, and this is why when you make the cocktail, you taste the difference. Um, so to answer your question, we use the inspirations from um, classic cocktails to build off of that, like the old fashioned that we have in the back there. That's made with a, a bourbon whiskey. I, break it down to a blackberry old fashioned and present it with a blackberry simple syrup. And people okay. love that. And real quick, Paul, if somebody is interested in booking you for their event, yes. what is the process? Like, what, How do you work with your clients to really suit their needs and uh, make it unique to their That's a good event? question. When we started the company, we, um, it was a lot of word of mouth. People talk about what we do and it was fun and they pass the information on to each other. So as we grew into a, a more corporate space, we decided to create our website as MrBartenderPortCity.com, completely spelled out M-I-S-T-E-R. And what we do is ask you to complete um, that short questionnaire, maybe drop an email to us at MrBartender, is spelled out again, PC at gmail.com. So the emails are usually the best way to get a response. I have my direct phone number and all my advertising materials and um, they can call and actually speak to me directly and we right. do a free consultation with our guests. And that's one of the reasons we have five stars as a, a trending review 
It's okay. because we do a one-on-one, -on -one. we sit down, we listen to our clients specifically about what they want, and that's why we consider ourselves customized, um, a customized business, and then built our packages based on maybe their budget or their location or venues. And we're fully insured to do that as well. All right, Paul, well, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah. And you're gonna get to work and make a cool drink for us and a cool cocktail. I yeah. can't wait to see it. Uh, thanks again. Yeah, I appreciate it. We're gonna use some high-end ingredients and give you some idea of how we do this. Just All right. Shake and bake, I call Go it. Go to work. Thank you, thank you for your time. <laughs>